What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the New York Giants and their 2021 schedule. We're we'll going to be going through every opponent, every game, giving you my overall thoughts, my overall opinion on their schedule and how I think they're going to perform this season. So if you agree or disagree with anything that I say, you know, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think that the New York Giants record is going to be in 2021. So week one, they're at home versus the Denver Broncos. Um, Man, the Broncos are a stinking good team. The Giants are going to be, you know, a good team as well. Um, I think I'm going to take the Broncos this one. I think Drew Luck is, you know, maybe a little better. <laughs> I mean, you could go back and forth on who's better between Drew Luck and Daniel Jones. They're both, you know, not the greatest of quarterbacks. Um, but, you know, both really solid defenses. Both both have really good run games. But I do like the Denver Broncos um, offense line a little more, which I think will help that quarterback situation a little more. I think it will help the running game even more. So I'm going to take the Denver Broncos here. I'm not saying that that, that Melvin Gordon, Javante Williams is better than Saquon Barkley. By no means am I saying that. I'm just saying that the Broncos overall running game is going to be better than the Giants week one. And that may be the difference because of the quarterbacks not being the best quarterbacks in the world. Week two, they travel to Washington. Another really tough game, man. But I'm going to take the Washington football team in Washington. Um. You know, Washington football team is really good defense, really good defensive front. Saquon Barkley, I don't think he, I, I think he's going to struggle to run versus Washington. Um, I think I, I like Washington secondary. I like some of their linebackers. I like what what Washington is doing over there. Their their offense could be a little iffy just because of the quarterback, maybe. But you know, they have Gibson, they have McLaurin, they have all those other guys. I think Washington comes out with that win over the Giants week two, week three. The New York Giants come back home to play the Atlanta Falcons. This could be another really good game, man. You know, the Falcons can stop the – no, I mean, the Giants can, you know, slow down that Falcons offense a little bit. Um, I think that Falcons defense is a little bit better, better than some people give credit for. I really like A.J. Terrell. Um, I, I, I like some pieces they got there, but not a lot. Deion Jones, they have some pieces there. Dante Fowler, a bit underwhelming, but, you know, I guess we'll see how he does. Um, it's going to be another good game. You know, there's Daniel Jones. I think this is a game that the Giants win. You know, I you know, I, I think that defense, that secondary can hold down that offense a bit. Um, I think they, they'll be able to get them out, Ryan, and I think that offense will do enough to score on that Falcons defense. Week four, they travel to New Orleans to play the New Orleans Saints. This is gonna be another really good game, man. Um, you know, Jameis Winston is a decent quarterback. I, I like Jameis Winston. I like him a lot more than some people may like him. You know, I, I think he's a solid quarterback. Um you know, I would have liked them even more if you know if you know they didn't have to cut half their team because salary cap issues. But you know, nonetheless, what kind of a matchup is this for the Giants? You know, the Giants have good, ha you know, the Giants have decent um receivers. The Saints don't really have a good defense. If you ask me, I'm not a big fan of their defense. As I said, they lost a lot of players. I'm gonna take the Giants over the Saints because you know this the secondary is really good. I'm not a big fan of the Saints receivers outside of Michael Thomas. Not really much there. The tight ends, eh. Not really a big fan of the tight ends there. You know, I'm just not a big fan of what this Saints team has in store right now. You know, they just don't have as much as, you know, you would like from the Saints team. Week four, or no, week five, they stay on the road to, to go on the road to play the Dallas Cowboys. This is going to be another really good game, but I think that the Dallas Cowboys are going to take this one once again. Um. Yeah, I'm having this Giants team lose a bit to start, which is maybe a little surprising, but the schedule is really difficult. But, you know, I do have them winning a few games. Um, but, yeah, this Dallas team, they have a really good offense. I'm going to take that offense over that Giants offense every day, all day, every day of the week. Um, yeah, that Giants defense is really good, but, you know, that Giants offense, will they be able to keep up? I don't know. And, you know, maybe the defense will help them in that regards. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to score. And I think that, the Giants, even though the Cowboys' defense is not the greatest, I still think that the Giants may struggle a little bit against this Dallas team, depending on how da Daniel Jones plays. But I'm taking Dallas. I'm taking Dak Prescott in that offense over Daniel Jones and that offense over there in New York. Week 6, they're at home versus the Los Angeles Rams. Um, Rams are a really talented team. Um, you know, their quarterback is nice. You know, the new-look Matthew Stafford, the new-look Rams with Matthew Stafford. Um, I really think that Cam Akers, Cam Akers, however you say his name, is going to really have a big year this year. Um, depends on how, on how that offense line is going to perform. I, I like the Rams receivers. Um, 
you know, and I do like that Rams defense as well, but I think that Rams defense is going to take a step back, but not too much of a step back to the point where, you know, I I think the I think the Giants are going to lose this one as well. You know, I think the you know that that Rams defense is good enough to keep Daniel Jones and that offense in check. I'm not a big fan of um, the Giants offense right now until I see more. Um, you know, I don't think that the receivers were the problem with the Giants last year. I think it was Marshall Daniel Jones, and, you know, the interior offense line was, you know, it was okay. Um, you know, I'm I'm just going to take the Rams here, man. I think this is a bad matchup for the Giants, if you ask me. Week 7, they're at home versus the Carolina Panthers. This could be a really fun, good game as well. But I'm going to take the Giants in this game. Um, you know, the Panthers are a really talented team, really talented team, but they're kind of lacking in the areas where you need most, especially the quarterback position. Um I'm still not a big fan of Tim Darnold, man. I'm still not a big fan, and I'm not sold until until I see something. I'm really not. Um, yeah, he's got a lot more weapons there. He's got CMC. He's got he's got his old friend Robbie Anderson. He's got um DJ Moore. He's got some nice weapons over there. He's got some decent players. Um, and you know that defense is a playmaking defense. You know, still young, still young yet, still learning. Um, I think that defense is going to take. You know, it it it's going to be. Defense. It's going to be in the middle of the pack defense this year. So, you know, I'm not too crazy about that Carolina defense. Maybe not even middle of the pack. Maybe a little worse than that. Maybe like 20. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be good or great. I don't think it's going to be bad or terrible, though. You know, yeah. Yeah. So, middle of the pack. Decent. So, I'm taking the Giants in that one. Um, I think Sam Donald's going to struggle versus that defense. And I think Daniel Jones and, you know, um, Saquon Barkley are going to do just enough to beat the Carolina Panthers. Week eight, they traveled to Kansas City. You know, you know, this could be a game where, you know, I think that um the Giants could upset the Kansas City Chiefs as well. Um, you know, the run game with Saquon Barkley, you know, but the big thing is Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones. Um, that's a big thing with the Giants, as as you've noticed with me. Um, I'm not a big Daniel Jones fan. He fumbles a lot, a lot of turnovers. Um, and just haven't you've never had that moment with Daniel Jones that just gives you you know, that, oh, wow, he's our guy. He's a franchise guy. You never had that moment, that play. I don't think you've, we've seen that yet. And I have not. And like I said, you know, if we see a little bit of Daniel Jones come out this year, that, you know, he starts playing decent, the Giants are going to be a really good team. They're going to be a really decent team. But if he doesn't, you know, they're going to be a bad team like they were last year. Um, you know, but I think they have the ability to upset the Kansas City Chiefs with that run game. Uh, I do think they have an offense, depending on what Daniel Jones is going to do. I think, you know, the interior of the offense line is eh, not a big fan. But, you know, that Chiefs defense, I think, will be able to hold them. But, of course, the Chiefs offense, the star of the league, is Patrick Mahomes. But, you know, maybe that defense, that secondary will be able to limit Patrick Mahomes. But, you know, that offensive line is going to give Mahomes enough time. is going to make it hard in that secondary. So, I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs over the New York Giants in that game. Week nine, they're at home versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, you know, another team that, you know, I I think is decent. You know, I think the Raiders are decent, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of the Raiders. You know, um, they have some decent players. They have some superstars around that team, but I don't think they have enough. You know, they, they don't have enough to be consistent and be that team to really make, you know, be in your toes, be in your feet. Um. Derek Carr, Darren Waller, um, the receivers don't scare you that much, but Derek Carr and Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs, maybe even sometimes, you know, that offense is really good when those three are on. Um, you know, Henry Ruggs has to improve. Um, they do have John Brown. I do like John Brown. Him and Derek Carr can form a really nice duo. Um, but I'm not a big fan of their defense. I do like the unique Ngakwe signing, but I'm not a big fan of their defense in general. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the Giants in this matchup over the Raiders. Week 10, they have their bye week. Week 11, they're at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, I, I'm going to take Tampa Bay in this game. You know, I, I don't think this is a good matchup for the Giants at all. You know, Tampa Bay is, you know, not, not really a good matchup for any team when you're going up against Tampa Bay this year. Um, just how balanced they are. You know, if we've seen last year when, you know, that Tampa Bay team was, you know, sloppy at times. Yeah, they were sloppy at times, but nonetheless, they're a really good team and they're really balanced. You know, I think Tom Brady and that team is going to be able to, handle the Giants pretty soundly. 
Week 12, they're at home versus the Philadelphia Eagles. I think this could be a really good game as well. Um, I, I do think that the Eagles are going to take a game on them, but not this one. Um, you know, just because of the Philadelphia Eagles pass rush, they could win a few games just off of that alone. Um, it's really nasty front end with the rotation as well. Um, other than that, I don't really see too much on that Eagles team. You know, maybe Jalen Hurts, you know, maybe he's hard to – maybe he's going to be difficult to game plan for. You never know. But by now there's going to be more tape on him still. Um, uh, so I'm going to take the Giants in this one in the first matchup. Week 13, traveling to the Miami Dolphins. I'm going to take the Dolphins in this matchup. Um, you know, this game could really go either way, you know, because the Dolphins, you know, their their defense is, you know, not, you know, they're a bit different than some other defenses, you know. As we see a lot of, like, you know, I, yeah, I'm having a hard time explaining it, but, you know, the Dolphins are more of a team that, um, you know, their secondary is really good. They're more of a playmaking defense. You know, their their defensive line is okay. I do love the addition of, of Jalen Phillips, but as we know, it takes a little while for pa- for pass rushers to get in groove. Um, maybe it doesn't take him that long. He is very talented. I love Jalen Phillips, um, Christian Wilkinson, um, Wilkins. You know, they have a lot of guys in that defensive line. Lawson, they have some guys that can make a big difference, but, you know, um, I'm just going to take the Dolphins in this one, man. Um, I think that secondary is definitely going to get to Daniel Jones, Xavier Howard or not. Um, I think the linebackers will be fine. The, you know, if the Giants do find a way to pound the ball with Saquon Barkley, if they do end up doing that, man, then maybe the Giants have a chance. But, you know, yeah, the Giants defense is really good as well. And two is, you know, not the best quarterbacks of last year. But, you know, I really like the weapons that the Dolphins have as well. So, you know, these two teams are actually really really freaking similar, you know, except, you know, I think the Giants do have that run game, but, you know, I would maybe take Tua over Daniel Jones, especially around this time. Um, I'm just taking the quarterback, <laughs> you know, but this is a really hard game that you go back and forth on. They're two really similar teams, so, but I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins. I think the Dolphins are a little more further along. I like that offensive line a little more. Um, I like the I I also like the Dolphins weapons. Don't get me wrong, I like the Giants weapons as well. The Giants have a lot of firepower. Dolphins do too, but I'm gonna go the Dolphins in this matchup, especially since 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 it's in Miami too. That's their advantage there too. We 14 at the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers are a really good team as well, man. You know the Chargers. You know they have, you know, I mean, you know, um, they're an upcoming good team. You know, they're very young with a lot of potential. They're very hungry. You know. They're a very good young team, um, and as I continue to, you know, really sprout, really, you know, learn, I think that the Chargers team is going to be much better down the stretch of the season. I'm going to take the Chargers team now. Um, oh, I'm going to take the Chargers team over the Giants. Um, you know, I really like the Chargers offensive line. Um, their defense is a little better than some people give them credit for. They do have Joey Bosa. They do have um, Kenneth Murray, Derwin James, just to name a few people on this defense. Um, you know, they have a really – Nice team over there, you know. It, yeah, it is very young. They do have Jerry Tillery as well. I forgot to mention him. He's been a little bit of a disappointment, but I think he's going to show out a little bit this year. I think he's going to finally come out a little bit more. And, you know, I, re- I really, really like this um, Chargers team, and I think it's going to be too much for the Giants. Week 15, the Giants are at home versus the Dallas Cowboys. This time around, the, the Giants are going to do a little better with everything. You know, they're going to be a little more sound by now. Maybe that offense is going to have, you know, they're, they're, they're going to have each other figured out by now. Yeah, they do have training camp and all that extra stuff this year compared to last year. But, you know, it still takes a while, especially when you're going to game speed against other teams. You know, it's it's a totally different game than it is in training camp, um, even in preseason maybe, you know. Um, so I'm going to take the Giants in this second match. It was, I think Saquon Bar- 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 Barkley is going to pound the ball to keep that offense out the field this time. I think that that defense is going to be able to limit them just enough. So th- a different game around this time. Week 16, they travel to Philly. Um, this is going to be a good game as well. You know, I did, I do have the Giants winning the first one. I'm, I'm going to have the Eagles winning the second one at home. Um, you know, I, ju- I just really like the Philadelphia Eagles uh, pass rush, and that's going to be nasty. That's going to be enough to win some games alone, and I think the Giants are going to be one of those teams, you know. And then you have Week 17. They're at the Chicago Bears. Um, this is going to be a really good matchup as well. You know, it's a really difficult team. You know these, um, you know the entire NFL is in a damn good spot for talent. Um, you know there's really not a really really bad team. I mean, maybe the Texans without Deshaun Watson, 
Um, I think the Lions are a little better than some people may may give them credit for. Um, to the Chicago Bears, man, you know Justin Fields. He 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 will probably be in by now. Um, that defense is really good. I do think it's going to take a little bit of a setback next year. They did lose some people in the secondary. They're kind of putting a lot on Jalen Johnson to be that number one corner. I think he was really good last year, but you know we got to see him. I mean, yeah, he was really good in that next year, but now he's going to have the load on him. And who's going to be that number two? I, I I know they signed someone. I don't remember who. I know they got someone. I don't remember who, but you know I I I you know I like this Bears team. You know this Bears team is you know said to do something, but you know this Giants team is too. And I think that this Giants team is going to beat the Bears this time around. Yeah, I think this Giants team is going to be able to stop Justin Fields' running ability or or whoever's playing. I think they'll be able to stop Andy Dalton or Justin Fields' throwing ability. I I, I think that that the Giants beat the Chicago Bears. I think they're going to be able to run on them. I think Daniel Jones is just enough. I think that this Giants team is going to beat the Chicago Bears this time around in Week 17 in Chicago. Week 18, they're at home versus the Washington football team. Um, you know, I th- I think I, I think I'm going to take the Washington football team to sweep the Giants. Um, you know, it has been very different. It has been the opposite way around with these two teams. You know, the Giants have you know have really gotten the Washington football team's number, but I think this season is going to be a little different. Um, Washington football team is really good this year. You know, their defense is going to re- is going to be really good. Ryan Fitz is going to get the job done. Um, I do really like Antonio Gibson. The offensive line could be a little better. Um, you know, but I think this time around, you know, I think the Washington football team is going to win again. And it's just, you know, I'm not saying that the Washington football team is much, much better. I think it's just a really bad matchup for the Giants, um, if you ask me. But nonetheless, no, I, I think I think the Giants had a de- had a de- having a decent season here. It's going, you know, eight and nine, which isn't bad in my opinion. Um, you know, but you do want more for the talent that do that they do have, but. You know, it's depending on Daniel Jones. You know, how is Daniel Jones going to do? And I'm not a big fan of Daniel Jones. I'm really not. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I see the pe- the potential. I see some of it, but he, you've never had. He's never had that moment. He's never had that. Oh, he's that franchise. Oh, he's your franchise guy moment. He's never had that moment to me. Um, just never have, and you know. What did they really do to get better from last year? You know, I don't think wide receiver was a problem. Um, I think it was. I think it was quarterback play. I think that was the main thing, if you ask me. And I don't know. I, I think we need to calm down the Giants a little bit. But you know, they are talented nonetheless. Saquon Barkley is going to be back, which is going to help Daniel Jones oh, tremendously. Which it's going to give them the few extra wins that I gave them this year over last year. You know. It is a tough schedule too. They have they they play some really good teams. They play they 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 play the Washington football team twice. Um, they play Denver, who is an upcoming team. The quarterback in eh. Dallas Cowboys, really good offense. The Rams, the Chiefs, Tampa Bay, those are three really good teams right there. Miami, the Chargers are up and coming. Um, you know the Bears are a decent team. You know it's gonna be a fun year for the Giants fans and see. Where Daniel Jones is going to take them. And that's all I got for you guys today. I thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And that's it for today's episode. So if you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, sh- and share this video with your friends, share it to any of your Giants friends, um, you know, all that stuff. So I thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.